Hello and welcome back to the Luxury Kingdom. Before we start, hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. The previous success of the Citation has led Cessna to develop an expanded high-capacity version. In September 1976, Citation 2 was released to the public. At the time of its release, everyone else in the aviation industry had a hard time surpassing each other in building the heaviest, most complex and most difficult jets to fly. Cessna Citation 2 has gone against all trends with a simple system and manufacturing method, reduced operating and acquisition costs. It's conducted its maiden flight on January 31, 1977 and received its FAA type certification for two pilot operation in March 1978. The 2SP is the single pilot variant. There were 688 aircraft delivered in total. In October 1983, Citation S2 Model S550 was introduced. It made its maiden flight on February 14, 1984 and was certified in July. It has a superficial airfoil developed for Citation 3 and is equipped with a JT-15D4B turbofan engine. The S2 replaced the two in production in 1984, but the two resumed service in late 1985, and both versions were in production until the introduction of Bravo. There were 160 S2s delivered in total. On April 25, 1995, the Citation Bravo version took its maiden flight. In August 1996, it was awarded its type certificate, and in February 1977, it was first delivered. Production of the Citation Bravo lasted until 2006, with a total of 336 aircraft delivered. The Citation II Model 550 has a total length of 14.5 meters, a height of 4.5 meters, and a body diameter of 1.6 meters. It has a 5.6 meter wheelbase. The aircraft has excellent maneuverability primarily due to its straight wing design. The straight wing configuration makes Citation II less prone to Dutch rolls caused by a strong rush of wind, and also increases the ratio of lift per increment of angle of attack, which leads to easy takeoffs and landings. It has a wingspan of 15.9 meters and a wing area of 31.8 square meters. The Cessna Citation II is certified under Federal Aviation Regulations, Part 25 Airworthiness Standards, which is mandatory for big airliners. The Citation II cabin is 4.8 meters long, 1.49 meters wide, and 1.46 meters high. It accommodates a maximum seating capacity of 10 passengers. An aeroplane with a simple design is the most recommended. This quality is perfectly appreciated in the cockpit, which Business and Commercial Aviation magazine termed the best human-factored cockpit in general aviation upon the release of the aircraft. The cockpit of the Citation II features 340 degrees visibility and uncomplicated controls for crucial systems such as fuel and de-icing. The cockpit can be designed to be flown by a single pilot, lessening operational costs and providing more flexibility in flight planning. Two Pratt & Whitney JT-15D-4B engines power the Citation II. JT-15D is a turbofan engine with an axial flow low pressure, centrifugal flow high pressure compressor, and a reverse flow annular combustor. Each engine produces 2,500 pounds of thrust. The aircraft's maximum operating altitude is 43,000 feet. It has a travel range of 1,998 with maximum fuel, a climb rate of 3,040 feet per minute, and a cruise speed of 403 knots at 35,000 feet. It has a takeoff distance of 1,050 meters and a landing distance of 745 meters. The maximum takeoff weight is 6,600 kilograms, while the maximum landing weight is 6,100 kilograms. It has a maximum payload of 1,400 kilograms and a fuel capacity of 862 U.S. gallons. The Citation II Model 550 is the first variation of the Model 500 and is a larger extension. It was opened to the public in 1983. The T-47A Model 552 is a military version of the aircraft. The U.S. Navy has acquired 15 aircraft designed as radar system trainers. The Citation II SP Model 551 is the single pilot version. The Citation S2 Model S550 is equipped with several enhancements, primarily a redesigned and re-strengthened wing. The Citation Bravo features PW530A turbofan engines. Honeywell Primus EFIS avionics redesigned Citation Ultra interior and a trailing link main undercarriage. When it comes to operating the Cessna Citation II, there are two expense categories to consider, fixed costs and variable costs. Fixed costs are those what you pay no matter what. Whether the aircraft flies or does not affect fixed costs. These costs do not change about the number of hours the aircraft flies. So therefore, whether you fly the aircraft 50 hours per year or 500 hours, the fixed costs will remain the same. The estimated annual fixed cost for operating Citation II is $315,563. 
Variable costs, on the other hand, are directly proportional to the number of hours the aircraft flies per year. The best example of a variable cost in this case is fuel use. One of the biggest costs when flying by private jet is fuel. See this to learn about private jet fuel costs. Clearly, the more you fly the aircraft, the more fuel it will use. Therefore, flying 500 hours per year will result in variable costs 10 times greater than if you were to fly 50 hours per year. Therefore, the estimated variable cost for private jets is presently an hourly figure. This is how much extra the aircraft will cost you per flight hour. Therefore, the estimated hourly variable rate for operating the Cessna Citation II is $2,021. Of course, this hourly variable cost is different to that of the estimated hourly charter price. This is because per hour, charter flights cost more. There are further parties involved. The hourly charter price is the aircraft's hourly variable cost, along with factoring in fixed costs and broker fees. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.